scrappers and welcome to my very first process video of the year 2022. So this one actually I didn't catch the whole video. I don't think something happened. Also you can see that my video is very blue. I have fixed it since then so this first video is a little wonky and I apologize about that. But today's video I am going to be using a challenge um, from I believe it was Sarah Scraps's um, YouTube group, which I will leave a link, not YouTube group, um, Facebook group. I'll leave a link below to her Facebook group and um, I'll copy the specific challenge in it. But it is a recipe challenge. And if you've been following me for a while, you know that I love recipe challenges. And this one was super fun. So I will tell you what the recipe is going to be. So five pattern papers, which is like, what? But you know me. Also, if you've been following me for a long time, you know I love, love, love my pattern papers. I am not afraid of using pattern papers. So... This is what I'm going to start out with, and I can't actually remember. Oh, I do change it up. Yes. Yes, I do change it up because this was Christmas Eve, and so I was thinking there was another cute piece of paper, um, background paper, and it had like a house and like street lamps and cars and um, like trees, pine trees and stuff in it. This one that I'm putting in here. And this one is actually the one I'm going to use since this is Christmas Eve night. And the photos are just so cute and cozy. I thought that this background was the perfect background for the these photos. Um, so I'm going to use five different pattern papers. Then the next step in the recipe is four textures. So things like vellum, stickers, enamel dots, twine, stuff like that. So I am going to use felt star shapes. I'm going to use acrylic. I'm going to use a sticker, just one sticker, clear sticker. And then um, a little badge, um, flare badge that says joy on it. So those are the four textures that I use. And then three collections or designers. That one I use. Um, so this is actually a layout for the scrapbooking store. I don't think I said that first off. Um, also, sorry, Max is chewing on a bone in the background. I really hope you can't hear it very well. So the three different designers or collections that I'm using is this one from the scrapbooking store, the, the paper collection from Echo Park, then the, um, the stickers are from, oh goodness, I think it was Sticko Stickers, and then the alpha is an alpha from... I want to say Heidi Swap, but I can't remember now. So those are the three different designers or collections that I'm using on this layout. I think I actually used more than three because the felt pieces, the felt stars came from someone and the acrylic stars came from someone and then the flare badge came from someone else. So I actually used more than three. I hope that's not cheating. In my eyes, that's not cheating. That's just going above and beyond, right? <laughs> anyway, then um, you were supposed to use two photos and one mixed media product. So you can see here what I'm doing with all of my pattern papers is I am cutting them to be a flag shape. And I really love how this turns out. So I am going to do that on all three of these papers. So my three different patterns are the one, the red one that is matted behind the photos, the two blue small flag shapes, and then the brown middle flag shape or banner shape. So that is my five papers. Max, stop it. He's making so much noise. I'm sorry. And then, um, um, let's see. Then the mixed media, I'm actually not going to show you guys on here, but I end up using just some watercolors off camera and, but you will hopefully be able to see them in the photos. And the one thing that I did actually cheat on was the photos. Obviously I used four photos. 
So, but the thing that I was saying to make it okay is they are three by four photos and you can fit two three by fours on one four by six. And so that's how I made it okay in my mind. But I really love how this layout turned out. I had so much fun using my new scrapbooking store collection. And if you aren't already a member of that kit club, you need to be. It is such an awesome kit club. It is one of my favorites, actually. And I'm not saying that just because I'm on the design team. And and I know you're probably just like, yeah, you are. But actually, I'm not. This design team and club has been like my absolute favorite. I've worked with a lot of different companies and had different kit clubs and stuff. And this is actually my favorite. Um. So there I'm going to add my one sticker and then I think I actually add all of the rest of the embellishments off camera. So I apologize, but you will see here in just a few seconds um, the, the title and the embellishments added on. Thank you so much for watching today and I hope you have a great scrappy weekend. Bye! Bye.